What's up, YouTube? This is San Diego Roots coming to you again on this uh, Vinyl Hunter episode three, I believe it is. And I got uh, two new mail day packages in the mail today. And without further ado, I'm just going to go right to it. Uh, for the most part, I would have to say 75% of my collection of reggae. Um, well, vinyl is reggae, and then I have maybe 20% um, old school hip hop from the 80s and 90s, and of course, you know, classic rock, some metal from the 80s, some punk, um, some 80s music, and then some missing chainy stuff that kind of grabbed my eye and stuff, so... And uh, I will be sharing those in the future with you guys, too. Trust me, I love watching people talk about vinyl, um, unveil vinyl packaging from males, going digging, going hunting, showing their collection, showing their favorite artists. I like a lot of music. I have a lot of music on my iPod, maybe two, three hundred gigs. So I'm not in a rush to get everything that... I enjoy listening to on vinyl, but when it comes to music that I actually would buy, stuff I remember growing up and a specific genre in reggae that is uh, kind of most collectors know when you name certain artists or certain labels or certain uh, songs. Right away, you know, like. You literally go and look at their collection or their crates and then they literally have everything you want or have everything you have. With the occasional certain heaters that both of you guys are like, oh, you got that? You know, or what's that? And you show them and boom. There's always so much more. Well, here we go. This LP is... The Echo Monat meets Frankie Paul. From the Powerhouse label. I've been wanting this record for such a long time. <coughs> It is a near mint condition. Nice. Some people don't like ordering um, records online. I, I, in my experience, I, I enjoy it. I've always particularly picked the right sellers and got exactly what I was looking for as far as the quality and the original pressing. And the condition of the cover uh, of the LP itself. Um, some people have said that they've gotten the wrong label or haven't gotten the record or it was destroyed or it was in worse condition and they had a bad experience and they don't buy it. Um, there's eBay. There's Discogs. I particularly like the paper sleeves more than these plastic. A little more a pain to get back into the sleeve, especially if you're a DJ that, or selector that tends to play every week. And here is the back. And um, if you get a chance, 
Look up Frankie Paul, Don't Want No War, Wicked and Dreadful, Come Home, String Up a Sound, and Echo Minot, E-C-H-O, M-I-N-O-T-T, Girl Next Door, My Lady, Sweet Reggae Music, those are some, some really nice, great songs. From the producer by George Pang, drums by Sly Dunbar, bass Robbie Shakespeare, keyboards Robbie Lynn, guitar Willie Lindo, percussion Scully, horns Dean Frazier, David Madden, and Nambo Robinson. Recorded and mixed at the Dynamic Sounds, mixed by Michael Riley, edited by Paul Nisbet. Printed in Jamaica. Great, 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 great. Alright. I don't want to make the video too long. You guys got stuff to do, I'm pretty sure. Oh, anyone um, can comment below in the box. When shipping out records, um, I've heard that it's better to have the record outside of the sleeve, inside of the sleeve, plastic sleeve, but outside of the actual cover. So it would be outside. So when you receive the package, you have to put it in. Uh, I'm guessing it's better because it doesn't slide in and out during the process of uh, trans uh, the transfer when it's being transferred um, um, through mail. Uh, comment below if you know the reason why. And we have one more. Records and I hack a new New York. Well, we're in San Diego, about to lose our Chargers to Los Angeles. Wow. And as you can see, as I was saying, the record is on the outside as it's through the packaging, and it's in the process of being delivered. The record is Pablo Moses. I love, I bring. the Liberty label. Really great artist, Pablo Moses. He's been here in San Diego a few times. I'm actually very grateful to be able to see a lot of these artists that, uh, that I actually collect since high school. First on a cassette tape, CD, then downloads, and now collecting on vinyl. Oh, let me see. And we have Black Slate. They were 
here at the World Beat Center in San Diego. They're a reggae band from the UK. Self-titled on the Alligator Records. Sticks, man. Reggae music. There's a few others on here. Murder. I also go to record shows, conventions. I have a friends that DJ and collect that have been collecting for longer than I've been born, some of them. And I'm able to buy and trade and find more reggae records. And um, I go digging at uh, conventions, swap meets, flea markets, and I find a lot of hip hop, classic rock, a little bit of blues and jazz. Occasionally I, I have found reggae records. And I've only been into the game for like maybe a year, two years, and I've already, uh, I don't know if I show you the label of that pop room. Well, guys, that concludes this episode, I believe, three of this mail day unboxing. There will be more coming in from uh, the UK, France, Germany, Japan, here in the United States. So stay tuned and please like, please subscribe, and uh, share. And I will be watching all of your videos, uh, regardless of the genre or the type of music. I just love seeing people who love collecting vinyl records and they express themselves through the music that they pick. And I do believe everybody should respect each other's music and learn and understand what you don't like instead of not understanding what you don't like. <laughs> You never know, you might like it. <clears throat> but I know that music is a bridge and it can bring you over to another world with great people. And it also can be a barrier if you decide to not cross over. In conclusion, thank you for watching. I gotta go to work later down at the airport. You guys take care, bless, and you guys stay tuned. One love, San Diego Roots.